Hello Crypto Clan, this is Crypto Conan bringing you another Bitcoin update. So we're going to start off with this last call that I made and this is why you're going to subscribe to me because I make calls like this. I drew this out, this price action, how we'd sweep these lows and then a quick move back up and then a consolidation. That's played out perfectly to this point. Now if we look at the Bitcoin price chart on the weekly scale you can see how we're just battling it out like I thought we would with these weekly uh, moving averages specifically the 200 exponential we've got to make it through that if we want any hope for more upside now let's zoom back out to the daily time frame here so we're zooming out to the daily <clears throat> you can see how uh, yeah, we're just keep wicking down from our moving averages. Now, if we get a move down from here, um, I don't see any worse than coming down to the 22.7 area. Um, and certainly, we cannot lose this line here at 21.430. If we lose this, we may come down, back test it further downside. That is not what we want to see right now which I don't think is going to happen at this point uh, we're getting a bullish cross here um, so I think we are just got some more consolidation to go through here um, I would be quite surprised if we just popped right through if we hold this boy let's just go to our CMA chart here if we pop through this and come up I mean I see us testing this next moving averages and filling the CME gap which is right here I got it kind of blocked out over here I mean that puts us upwards towards 28,000 okay let's pop over to the dollar so the dollar I am reading some very strong whoops let's go to our daily time frame here let's see reading it's a pretty strong hidden bearish divergence from this point to this point we've got a high, uh, lower a lower high higher high on RSI I do see that as a rejection point our, our uh, 200 moving average and we may just bounce through ultimately I'm looking for this uh, red moving average to kind of flatten out roll over and for us to lose it back test it come down uh, let's go to the ES still looking for this bullish cross to come into play <clears throat> and to tick these highs in the 4300 range now if you had watched any of my previous videos I do expect us just to kind of grind up and roll over maybe a quick sharp move down anytime we get this bullish cross red coming under pink we always come down to back test pink so even if uh, our pink line here does something like this it starts to curve up a little bit and we get our bullish cross here price action kind of does what I want here we're gonna get that back test right back to where we are right now before more upside if that happens I mean that's a ways out you can see so uh, at this point that's what I'm looking at let's go back to Bitcoin let's zoom out to perhaps the one hour chart here take a look at what's happening currently you can see we're just sideways ranging it is late Saturday going into Sunday here so once uh, ES moves or opens up tomorrow if we do get that pullback you know into this to the zone it's gonna happen pretty quickly but I do expect a bounce around here you can see our moving averages all down here uh, this blue one is the key to me so you can see where we could just sweep these lows again and just keep consolidating. I do not expect us to go much lower than this, like I said. Um, if we were to pull our fib here, 
highs to low. I mean, we're right, we're right there right now. If we did a bigger move, I mean, we could very well hold these levels. Bitcoin's still bullish right now, and as long as ES stays bullish. Uh, yeah, we could very well just keep grinding through here or come down back test this point area so these are my three levels that I'm looking at three level blocks don't think we'll reach that one if we do I might be looking for more downside back down to sweep these lows at 21 or further downside from there I'll update you then thanks for joining me and Stay savage.